This conference this... will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, uh, in this particular video, I'm going to tell you how to do in-order binary tree traversal. So in my previous examples, uh, in the previous video, I've already given you the example of uh, the, the binary tree and uh, what exactly uh, pre-order traversal we can do that, right? But today we will talk about in-order traversal. So in-order traversal is, let's see, this is a binary tree that I have. So what you have to do, you have to come to the root node and check that, okay, this root node is having left node or not, yes. So immediately we will come over here at 20, but this 20 is also having a root node. Uh, this 20 is also having one left node that is called 10. So 10 is already available over here. So what exactly I'll do, first it will print 10. So it will come over here, it will check this 10 is having any left node, no, we don't have that. So what should be the output? The first output will be 10 in that case. Okay, so 10 will be printed on the console and then it will go to the root node. So 20 will be printed, then it will print 30. It means the right node. After that, it will go to, so 10, 20, 30 will be printed like this. Then it will go to the first root node 40. And uh, after that, it will go to its right node because left node is already covered. It will go to 60. So the, okay, it will reach over here 60, but 60 is having already one left node. So before printing 60, it will print 50. Then it will go to 60. Okay, and then print 70 over there like this. So the output will be like this. Okay, guys, output will be like this. Okay, so what exactly I'm saying that? 40 will be printed first. Oh, sorry, 40 will be, okay, come over here and then it will check it has a root as a left node or not. So root is having left node, yes. And this left node is also having one more left. So let's see tomorrow we have one more, okay, left for that, for this particular 10. In that case, we have to take first left. So the definition is what? The definition of in order is that, visit the left subtree, then you visit the node, and then you visit the right subtree. Remember this thing. Okay, so remember this particular sequence. First, you have to visit the left subtree, right? And then you have to visit the node, whatever the node is there, main uh, root node, and then you have to do right subtree. So this is called in order traversal. Now, if you really want to write a program for this, it's very simple. What you need to do, you simply create a binary. First, you create a node and you connect the dots. It means uh, you create multiple nodes, you create uh, then binary tree and then connect the nodes. So how to do this? That we have already seen in the last example that uh, first this tree node is already created, which is used to create the nodes. Okay, three nodes, and then first uh, you have to create multiple nodes like this. So root node is 40, 10, 20, 30, something like this, we will be printing it like this. I mean, we are creating the nodes like this. And once it is created, if you see that, okay, 40 is having 20 and 10. So that's why I'm saying that okay, root node is having left as 20 and right as 60. So 20 and right as 60. Then 20 is having 10 and 30. So 20 is having 10 as left and 30 as the right node. And same thing for 60, 50, and 70, left and right. So for 60, 50, and 70, left and right. So, and then I'm returning the root node. Now, we just need to write the logic that how recursively you can use that. So what I'm gonna do that, I'm going to create a method over here that, uh, uh, let's see, the method name is public uh, void that in order traversal. Okay. And uh, what I'm gonna do, in order traversal means, first I'll pass the node over here, which type of node, a tree node over here, that okay, fine, this is the node I'm passing. And then I'll quickly check, okay, if this particular node is not equal to null, then you have to do that. So if not equal to null, it means the tree is created. And then I'll simple recursively, I'll be calling this particular function. So I'll call this particular function once again, whatever the root node, Okay, when you reach, it means go to the root, sorry, go to the node, uh, whatever, okay, I'm better I change the name, instead of node, I simply say root, and uh, this root, and we write it like this, and then from this part of the root, you go to where? You go to the left node. So I'll write left node over here, because first I have to take what? I have to take the extreme left node, right? This So first, from the root node, it will go to the left, and then it will go to, 10 over there. So, 
okay like this you have to pass it like this so simple <clears throat> root dot left you have to call it after that uh okay so it's not equal to this tree node one second one second will not be applied one second root dot left Am I missing anything? One second is uh, three dot root. Root dot left, which is actually pointing to this. It is absolutely right. Uh, one second. Am I missing anything? Okay, let me do one thing. Let me call this function once again. And what is the root dot left that you are passing? Okay, we will see this okay problem data. And then visit the node by printing the node data. So I simply write system dot our print and I what is the root dot data and you print the node. And when you print the data, right guys, when you print the data, what do you have to do? After that, you have to call this particular function once again to get the right data also. So I simply call this function root dot right. Over here. Okay, let me check the problem with left and right. Ah, sorry, that is my mistake. I just copy paste it from my previous program. So, by mistake, I just copy this. Okay, perfect. So, I'm just creating this free node and uh, creating two references left and right, free node data, and this dot data equal to this. So, when I create a node with 40, 20, okay, and then binary tree will be created. The dot I have dots I have already corrected. And the simple logic is first root dot left you have to visit remember this thing okay so it means we have to go to the left node and then from the left node you get the data you print it on the console right if it's not there and then you go to the right and then keep calling recursively the same method okay so i'll be calling this particular method right so how to call this particular method so if you really want to call this method, what exactly I'm going to do that uh, we will first, uh, okay, <clears throat> create the object for this particular class. So come over here and uh, let's see, obj is equal to new this, okay. And uh, after that, what we have to do? After that, first we have to create a node. So we have to call this particular method. Let me do this. So we have to call this particular method that uh, you come over here then create binary tree node so this create binary tree node what exactly it will return it will return what tree node so i'll be capturing in a tree node reference over here so i simply say that uh, let's see uh, tree node and i simply say that okay this is my root node this is equal to this right and uh, one second return 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 whatever the root node that we have created see this is the problem with the copy paste i actually copied from my previous okay thing so i'll do one thing just a second guys uh this one i just copy this because the exact same node that we have created over here so I'll just copy this entire thing and back paste over here okay now it's perfectly fine so that example we have already taken last time that ultimately you have to create the node you have to create make the connections and everything create the nodes and uh, connect the nodes so root node we have got it after that what we have to do we just need to call this particular method with the help of obj so my obj dot in order traversal and what is the root node that we are passing we just pass it and that's it okay so it will come over here and one by one it will print. So let's run it and let's see, am I getting the right thing or not? So it's saying 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. This is what I want. Okay, it's printing in different lines. So I'll do one thing, just move LN and after that print a space over there. Okay, now let's run it and let's see. So exact same thing we are getting 10 to 70. And uh, if you go to the diagram, same thing, this is what we are expecting, 10 to 70. Same output we are getting. Perfect. So remember, in order traversal means you have to go to the extreme left node and then you have to start 
traversing it. So left node, then the node, and then the right. Again, go to 40, and left is already covered, then go to 60, but before 60, we have to capture 50 because this node is having a left node, and then go to the main node, and then go to the 70. Like this, you will be getting. So this is a simple logic. This logic will remain same, okay, just to create the node. So this class is used to create the object of the nodes. So you just call, okay, by creating the object and pass the data to the constructor, and then connect the nodes with this logic parent and child, whatever left and right that you are creating. And after that, this is simple recursive logic you have to write. So if you see in my previous example, in a previous example, recursively for exactly what, what exactly we are doing. Earlier we were getting the data and then we are getting left and right. So first thing is over here that first you get the data and left and right. But here in, in order traversal, first you go to the left, then get the data and then go to the right. This is what I told you, right? So this is what you will have to do. So as I told you that first left node and then right subtree. Same thing I'm doing over here, left the node data and then go to the right subtree. Perfect. So this is simple logic. You have to write it. Remember this thing at a time of interview. Okay. In order traversal and earlier we have talked about pre-order traversal. Simple. That's it. So that's all for this particular video guys. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.